What's going on guys, it's Modern Chart here, and in this video, I'll be comparing the current call and the Sins of the Past rocket launcher. Now you may ask, why these two rocket launchers? Well, these two rocket launchers have a perk on it that makes it stand out than any other rocket launcher, and that perk is cluster bombs. If you don't know what cluster bombs are, cluster bombs are pretty much when the rocket hits a target or hits an object, uh, it will explode and then many cluster bombs will come out and detonate as well. So that is a really good perk and I use them all the time for anything I'm doing if I'm using a rocket launcher. So now everyone asks, well, how do how would I get that kind of rocket launcher? Well, if, in order to get the current call, you have to get it from the Vanguard packages, aka the engrams from them, or you could get it from the Nightfall or the clan uh, engram. And the Sins of the Past rocket launcher, you could get from the raid, or you could get it from turning in the Benedict uh, Emperor Callus tokens. You turn them into Benedict, and from that engram, you could possibly get the Sins of the Past as well. Also from the clan engram as well. Um, pretty much, these two rocket launchers are the best in the game so far, and everyone asks which one is better. Uh, is the Sins of the Past better because of the higher blast radius, or is the current call better because of the reload speed? And people are going to tell you mixed opinions, and I'm going to give you the stats and why you should use that type of weapon for whatever encounter, and I'll go and explain it later on in the video for you guys. So, I'll be showing some tests and stats later on as well, and these are the perks that I'll be using while you see the test. As you see, I'll be using for the current call, I'll be using volatile launch, high velocity rounds, and obviously cluster bombs, which is stock already. And then for the sins of the past, I will be using linear compensator, cluster bombs, and auto loading holster, which is already put into the rocket launcher as well. You can use different launcher barrels if you want, um, but these are the ones that I use personally because of reasons. And like I said, I'll explain that later on in the video as well when I give my own opinion about the two rocket launchers. So let us begin with the comparisons. Uh, starting off, we will we will have the current call and its reload speed. I'll be testing this with the reload speed mod and without the reload speed mod. If you don't know what that is, for the chest piece, you can have a power loader uh, mod, and what that does improves you improves your reload speed for the equipped power weapon. So in this case, it will be the rock launcher. I will time it without the mod and with the mod for you guys. So as you see, without the mod on the current call, it is 2.8 seconds, and with the mod it is 2.6 seconds. Now if you compare that to the sins of the past, obviously it's going to be faster, but I'll go ahead and show you that right now. So as you see with the sins of the past, it's a two, it's a 3.2 second without the mod, and then three seconds with the mod. And if you compare that with both of them, as you see between both of the reload speeds, uh, the current call is faster by four tenths of a second. Which, I mean, it doesn't really show that much of a difference, but it really is a difference, as you will see later in the video. Another thing that I have to show you guys is the RPM for the current call and the sins of the past. Um, basically this is this means rounds per minute and the rounds per minute is not the right stat number when you inspect the weapon. Uh, what I'm going to be testing is with the rally barricade on how fast you could shoot it because there was a cooldown on it. Some people think that when you spam behind the rally barricade you could just instantly fire as soon as it reloads but there is a cooldown on between each fire that you can do and I will show you in a few moments. A few things I want to uh, tell you guys before we do go through the test things is I will start the timer, the frame the rocket leaves the ammo count, and I will also end the timer by the next rocket when it leaves the inventory as well. So pretty much go ahead, I'll show you guys, and I'll talk to you guys when it is done.
So as you guys can see, uh, we have shot both the, the timing for both the Sins of the Past and Curtain Call. Uh, the Sins of the Past count is 1.3, and the Curtain Call is 1.1 between each shot. Now you're saying, whoa, that's not really much of a difference. Well, in my eyes, if you look at it this way, if you have six rockets all together, and you're about to go ahead and DPS into Callus. Now, if you're using the Curtain Call, you'll be able to get rid of all of your shots within 6.6 .6 seconds. Now, if you're using the Sins of the Past and you want to deplete all of your rockets, it will take you 7.8 seconds. The current call is 1.2 seconds faster than the Sins of the Past at depleting their ammo, which that means you can get your ammo out really fast and switch to your energy weapon and start shooting at Callus before anyone else that's using the Sins of the Past could fire off. So, that is honestly a really big difference if you look at it that way instead of each shot. So. If you're trying to melt a boss really fast, definitely current call all the way. Sins of the past is a little bit slower, but if you don't have a current call, Sins of the past is the way to go. Next part I want to touch base on is the blast radius. The blast radius is one of the key things on what makes the current call and what makes the Sins of the past. With this test, uh, I will show you the blast radius on the six legionaries that stand in the beginning in the Leviathan raid. I will shoot right in the middle of them and I will show you the numbers that pop up for both of the uh, guys as well. So I will come back and see you guys when both those tests are done. Alright guys, as you can see, the Sins of the Past completely dominates the current call in Blast Radius. Uh, the two legionaries in the middle for the Sins of the Past took over 1500, and the guys on the outside took around 20 to 10. And on the current call, the guys in the middle took 30 and 20, and the other four guys did not take damage at all. And obviously, Cluster Bombs would take care of some of them, but as you see, Blast Radius really dominates on the sins of the past and current call is really weak in that department. The test ain't over yet guys. Another rumor that's going around with the sins of the past and the current call is well since it's higher blast radius doesn't it do more damage. So I will show you in this next test and I'll see you guys when it's done. Alright guys, as you see, if you shoot the guy, direct impact, for both current call and the sins of the past, it will be the same numbers, and if you shoot next to the guy and you have splash damage kill him, it will be the same numbers for both the current call and the sins of the past. So that rumor saying blast radius affects damage, no it does not. Um, whoever said that, I don't know who you are, but... Blast radius is not blast damage or splash damage or whatever you want to call it. So, as you see, that's the numbers. Um, literally, they're both the same for splash and impact damage. So, like I said before, if you're going to the boss and you're shooting at the boss, current call is the better way because of the RPM, and you're just able to put out put out the most damage really fast compared to this in the past. There's one more test I need to show you guys, and that is the cluster bombs. Uh, everyone's saying that since the past, their cluster bombs spread out more because the blast radius is larger, or the current call has a smaller cluster bomb range because of the blast radius. I shot three rockets from each of those rocket launchers, and basically I just slew down where the cluster bombs hit. I shot at the same point every single time, and I'll talk to you guys when it's done after you watch it.
as you guys can see, both cluster bombs on the both rockets, uh, they seem pretty consistent. Obviously, it's not that consistent because they don't have a set path on where they go. Uh, pretty much depends on the object that hits it. On this flat ground, both the rocket launchers, their cluster bombs were pretty consistent, and that ruins the rumor of people saying Blast Radius has more cluster bombs spread than current call does. So, this is my opinion on the both the rocket launchers right now, and this is what I think. If you're just going to, you know, raid DPS, like you're just trying to damage Kalos as fast as possible, or if you're trying to kill a boss really fast, go with the current call. I say go with the current call because you really don't need to rely on the blast radius to shoot the boss because you're first off you're gonna be aiming at the boss and you're not gonna be you know splash damaging him at all you're gonna be aiming at him and obviously it will help you with the RPM uh, crouching behind the rally barricade or if you don't have a rally bar barricade you can just sit there and reload as well and that's faster than the sins of the past now as you tell Cluster bombs, they're random, and sometimes they will go all over the place. So that's something you got to look out for, but relatively, they're pretty consistent on cluster bombs. And impact damage and splash damage, literally the same, just make sure you hit the guy or you hit relatively close. And yeah, that's my opinion on the curtain call. That would be the only time you ever see me use the curtain call is if I'm shooting the boss or killing a boss. Now the sins of the past, on the other hand, that's your everyday rocket. If you're running strikes and you're just trying to clear out as many ads as possible, use the sins of the past because you can clear out the ads faster because of the blast radius. Um, blast radius really it's it's a really big difference and that is that's what makes the that is what makes the sins of the past in my opinion. Um, obviously the handling on both the rocket launchers are completely different as well uh, the handling on the sins of the past is really high compared to the current call um, handling pretty much just makes your gun ready faster and aiming faster and basically having that with ad clear on the sins of the past really just makes it better in my opinion um, obviously some people have mixed opinions on that but that's my opinion on the sins of the past now, out of this video, I don't want you to say, oh, Sins of the Past is better then. No, it is not better. It is better in certain situations. Obviously, the Sins of the Past outweigh the current call situations. But, if you're ever, you know, shooting at a boss, like I said, current call is the way to go. Uh, I couldn't stress it enough on how much I would love to use the current call at all times, but I have to give it to Sins of the Past for this one just because of its blast radius. Um, Obviously, people could say, oh, just increase the blast radius on the current call. Well, I am using the highest blast radius on the current call. Now, another thing that I want to state, um, there is a perk on the current call, which is called Black Powder. And basically what that does is increase the blast radius by a little bit. Now, when you do that, you lose velocity, stability, and real speed. And obviously, the real speed is what makes the current call, in my opinion. Um, the velocity is not that much of a difference, but the reload speed is hurting a lot compared to having increased blast radius. So that is why you don't see me using current call at all. The only time you ever see me using current call is if I'm shooting at a boss. Since of the past, uh, the different uh, launcher barrels that you could use is one that will decrease the blast radius, but it will also increase the velocity. Um, Honestly, I use that more just because the decrease on the blast radius is just a tiny bit and the velocity is a pretty big jump because the velocity is important when you're trying to hit the target really fast. And the other thing, uh, the other perk that I don't use personally is it takes away your blast radius and it gives you handling and stability, which in my opinion, I think the way the handling and the stability on the rocket launcher is fine and I don't need a point to using that in my opinion. Obviously, this is my opinion, not your guys' opinion. Um, you could go ahead, play around with the weapon. I'm just break. I'm just giving you guys the stats on both the sins of the past and the current call, and what is better. Because everyone asks me what is better, and I'm telling you what is better. And basically, it's also once again another opinion based. And shooting at the boss, current call, everyday rocket, sins of the past. Now another thing that you want to keep in mind is the Warcliffe coil. The Warcliffe coil honestly is a 
really big competitor to the sins of the past compared to add clear and if you guys want I could go ahead and go into detail on the work with coil but that's pretty much it for the video guys um as you as you tell by my opinion so far sins of the past is better but it is not better when you're shooting at a boss you're shooting at a boss current call can't stress it enough guys all right that's gonna be it for the video guys thank you so much for watching if you do enjoy this video be sure to leave a like comment down below if you have any questions um i'll be sure to answer as much as i can and if you have any video ideas on weapons to compare i'll go ahead and possibly take your recommendation and go ahead and make a video on that so that's gonna be it for the video guys thanks for watching i'm monitored and i'll see you guys in the next video peace